This video is brought to you by the Thriller Escape Room. Watch it on digital April 9th and own it on DVD and Blu-ray April 23rd. Well, that sure changes things. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 darkest plot twists in thriller movies. Become vengeance, David. Ah, oh, she's all right, you tell me. Become wrath. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at plot twists in thrillers that made its film much darker and even more discouraging than it was before goes without saying, but this is going to be pretty much nothing but spoilers. I needed to help someone. I think I did. Number 10. Leonard Killed His Wife, Memento Throughout Christopher Nolan's Memento, amnesiac Leonard Shelby leaves himself an intricate series of notes that will hopefully lead him to the man who raped and murdered his wife. Don't believe his lies. He is the one. Kill him. I finally found him. We also learn of a fellow amnesiac named Sammy Jenkins, who accidentally killed his wife by giving her too many insulin injections. However, at the end of the movie, we witness Leonard being told that he's the real Sammy and that he's the one who killed his wife. I took that picture. Just when you did it. According to Teddy, he repressed these memories out of guilt. His mission is fake and impossible to fulfill. Leonard is essentially an amnesiac serial killer being used by Teddy. Terrifying, right? I have to believe that when my eyes are closed, the world's still there. Number 9. Jigsaw was in the room the whole time. Saw. The opening minutes of Saw certainly make an impression. Oh! Oh! Two men wake up chained to a dilapidated industrial bathroom with a bloody corpse lying between them. Fun stuff. We also learn that the Jigsaw killer likes to watch his victims, and while we know deep down that Zepp wasn't Jigsaw, we certainly weren't expecting the corpse to be. At the end of the movie, the corpse arises from the floor and reveals himself to be Jigsaw right before locking Adam in the bathroom. It's a massive shock that reinforces the true depravity and psychopathic methods of Jigsaw. While the Saw movies would decrease in quality, that final game over is legendary stuff. Most people are so ungrateful to be alive. But not you. Not anymore. Over. Number 8. Malcolm was dead the whole time. The Sixth Sense. At the beginning of the movie, child psychologist Malcolm Crowe is shot by a psychotic former patient. Since it appears as if he's recovered, our minds are shattered when it's revealed that he has been dead the whole time. I see dead people. It's certainly a dark realization to find that the protagonist is a ghost, but it's still an ultimately happy ending when Crowe is sent to heaven after rectifying his failures. Two years later, the others would provide another brilliant ghost-centric twist by revealing that the family are the actual ghosts haunting the house. Both movies successfully flipped the conventional ghost story on its head and provided some of the greatest twists in the horror genre. How often do you see them? All the time. Number 7. Teddy slash Andrew killed his wife, Shutter Island. Movies love to utilize the protagonist actually killed their wife twist, don't they? Throughout Shutter Island, we watch as U.S. Marshal Teddy Daniels investigates the disappearance of a mental patient. What's in there? More patients? But when Teddy enters the lighthouse, everything changes. We learn that Teddy is actually Andrew Latis, an institutionalized man who killed his wife after she murdered their children. Your wife drowned them at the cabin by the lake. And here, the little girl, the one you dream of every night. We never had a little girl. The one who tells you over and over that you should have saved her. As if filicide and uxoricide weren't dark enough, we also learn that the girl latest dreams about is his murdered daughter, proving that his mind has been irreparably damaged and racked with guilt. Furthermore, Latus becomes aware and conscious enough to plan for his own lobotomy. Shutter Island is a bleak experience start to finish. Which would be worse? To live as a monster? Or to die as a good man? Number 6. Norman is Mother slash The Killer Psycho Psycho has perhaps one of the greatest twists in cinematic history. Throughout the movie, we believe that Norman Bates is nothing but a repressed man-child who protects his domineering psychotic mother. Well, a, a boy's best friend is his mother. However, the famous ending reveals that his mother is long dead and that Norman is the true psychopath. 
After killing his mother and her boyfriend out of jealousy, he took on the persona of his mother to alleviate his loneliness and guilt, and he uses this persona to murder those he feels attracted to. The twist made Norman one of cinema's most iconic villains, and left 60s audiences with the fear that danger could be lurking anywhere and behind any facade. They'll see. They'll see and they'll know, and they'll say, why she wouldn't even harm a fly. Number 5. Head in a Box, Seven. Seven's twist may not be as iconic as Psycho's, but it's arguably more depraved. After John Doe turns himself in and takes the two detectives to the final murder location, a delivery man brings them a mysterious box. Put the gun I down. I saw you with the box! What was in the box? Because I envy your normal life. Put the gun down, baby. It seems that envy is my sin. No, what's in the box? After a few incredibly tense minutes, we learn that the box contains the head of David's pregnant wife, representing the killer's envy. So, I took a souvenir. Her pretty head. David then becomes wrath by shooting Doe in an act of uninhibited rage. John Doe wins, David goes insane, and Somerset can only look on in defeat. While the movie is absurdly dark, this final twist somehow ratchets the depravity to 11, reinforcing the idea that humanity is inherently flawed. No! Just throw it all away, you know. No! She begged for her life, detective. Shut up! She begged for her life. Shut up. And for the life of the baby inside of her. Shut up! Number 4. Amy Framed Her Husband, Gone Girl I thought we weren't going to be that couple. Gone Girl isn't your grandmother's murder mystery. The first half of the movie plays out like a typical crime drama as Nick Dunn searches for his missing wife and is falsely accused of her murder. However, the movie does a complete 180 halfway through when it reveals that a jealous Amy intricately framed her husband after learning of his affair. Nick and Amy will be gone. But then we never really existed. The twist not only works incredibly well as dramatic story development, but it also strengthens the movie's morose themes regarding manipulation and abusive relationships. Gone Girl goes from a relatively conventional murder mystery to a haunting first-hand account of a cunning sociopath. And you know what? That's even scarier. So Nick, how does it feel to have your wife back? <clears throat> That's fantastic. Number 3. Soylent Green is People, Soylent Green like Norman Bates being mother, the fact that Soylent Green is made from people is not a surprise to modern audiences, but that doesn't make it any less impactful. Soylent Green is people! In this dystopian society, a green wafer called Soylent Green is created, said to be a highly nutritious food source created from plankton. However, we later learn that Soylent Green is actually made from human remains, as humans are a great source of protein for a starving society. It's a horrifying reveal, but it also fits perfectly with the movie's themes of overpopulation, resource management, and climate control. It's a much-needed slap in the face that remains relevant and disturbingly prophetic nearly half a century later. How could I... How could I ever imagine? Number 2. Apes Have Taken Over the World – Planet of the Apes That bright eyes is remarkable. He keeps trying to form words. You know what they say, human see, human do. While Planet of the Apes is a long-running franchise, nothing beats the original's twist. After landing on a planet ruled by sentient talking apes, Taylor escapes from their grasp, only to come upon a half-buried Statue of Liberty. He discovers that he was on Earth all along, and that modern humanity had wiped itself out in some kind of nuclear war. I'm home. All the time. We finally really did it. It's not only a devastating ending that caps the story in theatrical fashion, but also a dismaying comment on the Cold War and the possible future of humanity. It's not as dramatically relevant as it once was, but it's still a distressing ending that captures the fears of its time. You maniacs! You blew it up! Oh, damn you! God damn you all to hell! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I'll control the motor function, so I'll be... Me. You'll be me. He looks kind of peaceful, the guy. Put up a hell of a fight, though. Are you sure he doesn't see me? Number 1. Ode Su and His Daughter, Old Boy 
Murder and nuclear war may be scary topics, but nothing feels worse than learning that the protagonist copulated with his own daughter. <laughs> The movie opens with Daesu being kidnapped and imprisoned for 15 years. After escaping and embarking on a campaign of revenge, he befriends a young chef named Mido, and the two become intimate. However, it's later revealed that Daesu was hypnotized into falling for Mido, who is revealed to be his now adult daughter. It's equal parts shocking and horrifying, eliciting a visceral bodily reaction of revulsion from most viewers. This video is brought to you by the Thriller Escape Room. Watch it on digital April 9th and own it on DVD and Blu-ray April 23rd.